Hey, what's up guys? This is Mr. Jordan 2. Today I'm giving you guys a house tour. I purchased this house by myself about roughly two and a half years ago. It was a brand new construction, just grassland when I purchased it. And it took me about a year or so to build the actual house, it's a townhouse. And so after a year, I received the house, I moved in. And now it's about a year and a half later, and I finally managed to sell the house. It's been for sale now for roughly about a year. I had a first real estate agent listed for me for sale, but about a year went by and nothing was really happening. Like there were no real solid offers, nothing basically. So I decided to change real estate agents. And now with a new real estate agent, within four to five days, the gentleman, sold it just like that in the thumb of a finger with a very high offer the new home buyer ended up giving me exactly what i'm asking for and i was so thrilled to receive the the offer and take it and get them moved in so without further ado onto the video i'm giving you guys a house tour here after I already moved out and the house is empty, I bought the trade hands. So now I'm here outside, walking down my sidewalk, walking towards my house. You can see my Mark 6 Jetta just sitting there in my driveway. And also next to it is a sign from a realtor that once had a sign there saying for sale. Once from the previous real estate agent and once from the current. Agent. Looking at the townhouse from across the street now, oh my goodness, what a beautiful looking townhouse and a very tall one. Wow, I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead now and get a closer look at it. Here's the garage, there's my house number, here's some side eaves through pipes. Up there is my light and also my fake balcony. And then there's this nice roof over your head at the front door with a beautiful pot light in it. So now let's go and head on in and get our house tour. Off the bat, we see a beautiful home. Oh, wow. And I also have a lot of carpets there for dirty shoes because it was the winter time just now. And you know, the shoes get full of mud and snow. So guys, starting off here to our right is the main washroom on the main floor. So they want to wash on the main floor. There you go. The toilet, the window, the lights. Small little toilet tree basically. The main floor. Right next to the front door, which is right here. So right next to the front door. And you have to go. It's easy access right next to the door. All right, this is the front hallway. Okay. There's a staircase going up. All right. Turn to the right. Here's a closet for your jackets and whatnot. The front closet by the front door. Okay. Going further down the hallway, there's a door here on the right hand side. This is actually for the garage. So I have a garage in this house. See, it's a nice garage. Turn the light for you. There's a garage steps going down. There's a garage. There's a garage door. We haven't installed the garage opener yet, but you know, I'm sure the new homeowner will soon enough. I've just been using my, my hand up and down the whole time instead of using the garage opener. Okay. And on the left hand side here is downstairs. The basement. Go back so you guys can see the door here. And behind there we have the HVAC display here you can see it right there and this switch here is for the fan upstairs for the master bedroom the actual air fan you can hear it turn on now when the uh, washroom upstairs stinks really bad you press this button and it uh, turns the fan on to basically air it up for you so they have the lights on let's head on downstairs Nice long staircase here. Set down. Okay, immediately you see a small room here. All right. And you turn left. 
through the hallway here, all right. And here on the staircase, they actually left behind, the builders have, two cabinets for my kitchen, basically, in case you ruin some. You have some here, a spare extra to replace it with. And on the right-hand side here is my uh, water heater and my HVAC unit. Okay. And, you know, there's some lights here that you can turn on and whatnot. They're currently not working, which is odd. Oh, there you go. Okay. And the other main room. The basically main large room. That light here. Perfect. And here is our fuse box. Should say breaker box. Okay. There it is open. And here you can see how Rogers Cable has come by and installed this cable box for me with a couple of cables. And the cables actually, I think, go around here. Yeah, they go around here and then up here. And you see them coming up through there and they start going through here. All the way down to the back wall there and they go up into the ceiling to the first floor. Moving along here now. You see all the plumbing here, the water heater, and the HVAC unit. Okay, and that's about it. The basement is not too big. It's just a small little area. So now we're exiting the basement, heading back on upstairs via the staircase here. Here it is, okay. Turn this light off here. And now we're on the main floor again. Back here again. Alright. So the first room here is obviously the living room slash dining room. Alright. So it's basically this room here. And then there's a little spot here too to put maybe a dining room table or a TV or a couch. Really up to you. And then the corner over here is where you must put your kitchen table and your kitchen chairs to eat, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner with, okay? And then here we have a big island on this side here where you can put, you know, like stools and sit down here and eat your meal or just chit out with friends, okay? So here's the basic kitchen now, okay? So it's just a uh, cupboard here, alrighty. There's this washer here. Never used it. It's two, about two and a half years old now. About two years old and it's still not been used. Here's the main sink. Two sinks, which I love. And my nice faucet here that uh, detaches so you can get more, you know, more deep clean basically. And it's got buttons on it. Okay, so turn on the buttons. And then under here we have, you know, the uh, sink and the Plumbing of the kitchen faucet and whatnot. Okay, that's a storage space, which you know, obviously have empty right now because I moved out. More space here for pots and pans. And then here we have drawers for anything you want. It could be utensils, towels, cutting boards, knives. Alright, so here's a corner. Now, looking up here, there's more kitchen cabinets. Here's a big cabinet. Okay. What I have here is now, this is the actual brochure of the place. It was called Trafalgar Green, Garden of Village Townhomes it would be, which is correct. The simple joys of living are all yours every day at Trafalgar Green. Yeah, lovely. It's the little things like county life. I agree man, I agree. Put that back now for the new homeowners to see. All right, close it. Next we have the uh, fan, okay, for the stove. There's the on light switch. The fan has two modes, low and high. That's low mode. Not too bad, that's high mode. Bit better, okay. We have more cabinets up here. Up here we have some just info for the stove and the fridge and whatnot. And I left them a can that I bought from Canadian Tire of stainless steel cleaner and polish. Because I don't currently own any appliances that would use this. So I figured I'd just leave it for them or dusting it out. And this came with the uh, stove. Some kind of cooked up cleaner. 
Cerama Bright, okay, and more stuff here for the appliances. Manuals do different them and warranty cards and whatnot. And another cabinet here, same idea as the other one. This one's completely empty. Empty it out, okay, and then just here we have more counter space as you can see. Long counter there. And then here we have more cupboards. So open up this one here. That's what it looks like. This one here. Wonderful. Very big, deep and spacious. Okay. Here. That's humongous. Wow. Love that. Alright. Up here we have a small little cupboard for your, I guess, your cups and glasses and whatnot. That's what I would use it for basically. Okay. And then up here we have the last one. Additional space. Nice big enough space cupboard there. Okay. Love it. I'm tall so I can easily get to, you know, so easily there. Alright, then we have the fridge and the freezer. So the fridge at the bottom. Okay. Still looks brand new. Some packaging material still in there. And the freezer. Brand new as well. Hardly reused. Yep. Okay. And here is the uh, backyard. I've got it covered with these blinds. But there it is. Smaller backyard. I've got a small deck back here too. You can put like a barbecue on it or whatnot. There's lights for it. With the lights on. Looks nice. I like it. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's turn the light on here too. There's light. Nice. Let's have a place to see this now. Perfectly fine. Okay, guys. Let's now go upstairs. The second floor and the last floor of this townhouse. Turn the lights. Okay, the new steps. Fly up. So in front of you here, your, your face, the laundry room. Wow, look at this, it's huge. It's a huge space with both a washer and dryer. Oh my goodness, amazing. There you go. Wow, lovely. And there it is. You can see it there, okay. Great. Now moving on into the smaller bedrooms here. Small bedroom here for a nice child. All right. Still pretty spacious, I like it a lot. There's a closet. Nice house closet, not bad, I like it. Okay. Moving on into the second bedroom. This one actually has like a balcony door here. But there's no balcony, you cannot uh, stand in the balcony. The balcony is just uh, see a short one and you don't go out into it. So it's basically just a sliding door, but there's no actual balcony to, slide, to walk into. All right. Also, it has the same kind of closet, same size as well. Okay, next let's head on to the washroom here. So here's the washroom, okay. You can see there, it's got one sink, it's got a big cabinet underneath, the toilet, the shower, shower head up there, it's got a rail for your shower curtain, alright, wonderful. Let's move on now to the main master bedroom. Here it is, okay. So here's the main master bedroom washroom. Can we light some for you? There's the main master bedroom shower, wonderful. There we have two sinks and four cabinet doors under it for a huge amount of space. We have a huge mirror glass. Love, literally love it. Nice big lighting. All right, we have a fan up there. It works fine, I'll turn it on for you. 
Run your fan. Okay, I'll turn it on. All right. You have your toilet back there, okay. And you have your bathtub. Wow, I love this bathtub. I would use this bathtub every night I was living here. Oh my goodness, what an amazing bathtub it is. Then we have a uh, towel hanger here, and it's chrome one. And then here's the air vent. All right. Okay, moving on out of the washroom. We have our classroom right here, our walk-in closet. The light comes on as well. And here is actually the uh, attic apparently. They haven't actually gone up there to check it, but apparently there's an attic up there. It's pretty cool. Right in the master bedroom. Walk-in closet. They give you a big rack up here. Okay. It's a very big closet. So I'm hoping these new homeowners are gonna enjoy the size of this closet because it's very big. Okay, next we move into the uh, actual bedroom itself, as a bedroom. And my oh my, isn't it ever so spacious and wonderful? So it's for such a small little townhouse. Look at it, there's four windows, two there, two there. Two air vents in the bottom. And four walls, one wall, one wall, one wall, and the other wall here, but it's split in half because of the hallway. Had an uh, amazing night spent here sleeping. It was amazing. Alright, turn the lights off. Let's head up back downstairs, guys. And that now concludes the uh, house tour. I hope you guys like the house. I love it so much. I had a wonderful two years living here. And one year to one and a half years trying to sell it. It's been a really great investment. Uh, I made good money on the sale, almost uh, double what I bought it for. So it was a really good investment. I will not take the money and probably reinvest it in something else. All right, guys. And just like that, this video is over. I'm out. The house tour is not complete. I hope these new homeowners love this house more than I did because I love it so much. I have no idea. I'm very happy that I sold the house and I made the money on it and not to use the money somewhere else. This is Mystery Room 2. Take care, have a good day. Please like and subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys on the next one. You are correct.